What's up plant lovers? Welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited because today you're going to come plant shopping with me and we are visiting a brand new garden centre that I've never been to before and they had such good stuff there, their displays were amazing, the plants were in such good condition, they really took care of their plants so so well. I was really impressed. So let's go and have a look around and then stick around to see what I bought at the end. Lovely display coming in here, straight into the Syngonium. This is gorgeous. Just says Syngonium Arrow, $8.99. Really lovely variegation on that one. There's a nice different back here there, some umbrella plants. A nice croton here. Lovely. Let's have a look how much this Diffenbachia is. $8.99. This is the Diffenbachia Camilla. And this looks like a... What is it? A foliage mix. I think it might be a banana plant. Not sure though. Lovely umbrella plants in here. They have some really nice ones with gorgeous variegation. Let's see, some ferns. Pineapple? Tiny pineapple. Those syngoniums are gorgeous. They've got some really nice crotons here, if you're into those. $15.99. Quite a big one there. Let's have a look at the succulents here. They've got some interesting ones. Not seen this one before. It kind of looks curly. Six ninety nine. Some type of echeveria. This is interesting. Got some weird looking stuff on it. It's a Kalankoe Magic Bell. Nineteen ninety nine. That's an interesting plant. Well, this is colourful. Callan Curry, twelve ninety nine. It's got some nice kind of red variegation to it. This looks like a peperomia, I think. Very shiny. Yep, it's a peperomia, twenty four ninety nine. Lovely shiny leaves on that one. And they've got some really cute pots in here. Snake plant there, some aloe vera, a really huge chrysula here, £64.99 for this big chrysula hobbit. Very nice. Sansevieria, snake plant, £19.99. That's a nice one, I haven't got that one. A huge jade plant there. This one is grown into a tree form. And this looks like a moonshine snake plant. And another type of snake plant here, 10.99. Another one of these here, that's got some pretty purple on it. They've got some really nice Monstera Deliciosas here. Let's see, $21.99. Some decent sized ones, they look healthy as well. Really nice. Uh, let's see what this little gem here is. This looks like a philodendron. Philodendron Royal Mix, £12.99. It's got kind of nice lime green leaves there. There's some Interesting ones kind of nestled in if you get in there. Let's see how much this one is. $8.99, Skindapsis. Not sure about the labels in here. They're not very uh, helpful a lot of the time. This looks like a Philodendron. Philodendron Royal Mix, $12.99. 
Not sure what that is. It's a nice healthy philodendron there. Over here we have a croton. Looks like a branched one there with thick, thick trunks. Very nice. Quite an established plant, that one. And what do we have here? Another croton. They have quite a few of these in here, different ones. This one is huge. See how big the leaves are next to my hand. Really nice. Lovely big leaves. Philodendron scandens. What's this little guy? This one's cute. This looks like a peperomia to me. Peperomia rotundifolia. Quite cute. They have some amazing cacti here. This is a huge, big, fat euphorbia. 64.99. He's a chunky boy, isn't he? Look at this huge cactus. I think this might be the golden barrel cactus. $89.99 for that one. It really is huge. Probably take quite a while to grow that. They've got some big cacti here. Some big chunky ones. We're in the Calathea section now. Probably won't dare buy anything here. Calathea mix, $16.99. They don't all have the specific labels on. This is a Trio Star, also $16.99. I do fancy one of these. I've heard they're a little bit easier to care for, so I may try one at some point. Another one here. Let's see if this is labelled. Calathea Mix, £36.99. That's quite a big plant, quite a good deal there. They've got all sorts of Calathea here. That's a really interesting one. Doesn't say which one, just says Calathea Mix, $24.99, but that's a really nice one. I'm impressed with how healthy their Calatheas are here. This one's interesting too. It's got kind of lime green stripes. Do you like that one? Some nice plant pots too. They've got a huge selection of plant pots here. Pretty much every colour you could want. If you'd like a pot to go with your plant. Some devil's ivy there. Some ferns. This is a really nice display they've made here. Really healthy looking ferns. Ficus benjamina there. Over here we have some... Anthuriums, let's see, I think this is the price for the pot. Let's see how much the actual plant is. 34 dollars for the Anthurium clarinervium. It's quite a nice one. It's definitely less than I paid for mine. So these are coming down in price now for sure. And then they've got some of the more standard anthuriums, the flamingo plants with the pink flowers. What's this one? This one looks quite bright. Nice bright, bright green. Let's see how much this one is. This is an Asplenium nidus, $7.99. I'm not familiar with that one, but it's nice and bright. Really nice clarinerviums. They've got some nice specimens. This is a nice weeping fig here. Quite a big bushy one. Some more nice plant pots. Lots of different colours. Big rubber plant there. Really like these blue ones. Those ones are really nice. 
and another lovely rubber plant here huge one really healthy as well a nice big ficus belize here looks like there's quite a few plants in the pot i like the pot it's in as well and we have some braided umbrella trees here not sure i'd want to braid mine but it's certainly interesting to look at we got some hanging plants here, some devil's ivy. We've got a Monstera adansonii here, twenty one ninety nine for that one for a hanging pot. This looks like maybe some kind of hoya there. Quite nice. They've got a lovely Tradescantia here. Tradescantia zebrina, £9.99. I got one of these on my last garden centre trip. It's a really nice plant. A nice pop of colour. And we've got some marble queens here, which are really nice. They've got some huge ones, £24.99 for a huge marble queen. They are massive, much bigger than the one that I bought for a, probably for a similar price, I think. They've got some really lovely variegation on them as well. A few spider plants in there. Let's have a look at this one. Nice full plants. Lovely variegation in the leaves on these. Lovely. You could have this hanging or climbing up a pole. The leaves do get much bigger if you let the plant climb as well. These are interesting, kind of glass plant pots in all sorts of colours. Dragon tree there. A really huge Monstera deliciosa here. This is a really nice specimen, very healthy too. Let's see how much it is. 99.99 for a very big Monstera deliciosa. If you can fit that in your car, that's quite a good deal. If you can't be bothered to wait for your small one to grow, Another Monstera Adansonii there, eleven ninety nine for that one. These are quite common now. Back in the day they used to be rare, but they're very common now. Over here I can see a few zebra plants. Avalandra squarosa, fourteen ninety nine for those. Really nice plant. A little bit fussy, but worth it. Some more Monsteras here. I'm not sure if this is either a Epipremnum Baltic Blue or Cebu Blue. Not sure which variety it is. Here we have some really massive Alocasia Zebrinas, $89.99. I can't really give you anything for scale, but these are huge. I thought mine was getting big, but these ones are absolutely massive. I cannot wait until mine grows this big. Another alocasia here. This is quite a big one too. Let's see what this one is. Alocasia gagiana. £50. Quite a big one there. And over here we have an alocasia silver dragon. Another one of those amazing massive Sabrinas. This is Alocasia poly, $24.99 for this one. It's quite a good size. It's definitely bigger than the one I have. And a lot fuller too. I think that's quite a good deal there. Mine's just started growing, which I'm really happy about. 
see what we have here Racina marginata kind of got a more lighter green color on this one narrow leaves quite cool let's see what's over here we have a really nice shiny healthy zz plant 46.99 for quite a large zz plant here and it looks so so healthy really nice is this the string of pearls i think 13 pounds 99 looks like peas to me we have a kalankoe here 39 pounds 99 it comes complete with its own resident spider there some lovely little pots here really nice and my husband called me over to look at this one and eventually we realized it's actually a fake plant so <laughs> we had a bit of a chuckle about that and felt a bit silly as well some more lovely pots here some more alocasia really nice i can't stop looking at these zebrinas never seen one this big before let's see what's over here got some more succulents here some quite large ones senecchio that's quite pretty it's got a sort of silvery color i like that another big jade plant tree form some lovely big snake plants here really nice and these look like some aloe veras here let's have a look at the label how much they are in here 10.99 for an aloe vera here fairly common plant you'll find it in every garden center Pachira aquatica here 29.99 I recently bought one of these. These are quite nice. These are a little bit bigger than mine. Selection of cacti here, three pounds forty nine each for those. These ones are six pounds forty nine, a little bit bigger here. Loads and loads of different cacti. Some big chunky ones there as well. Interesting succulents, lots of echeverias more big jade plants this is another one of those calatheas i wonder if this one's labeled probably not no calathea mix 24 pounds 99 do like that one though i think because it's got a silvery blue color some ferns nestled in here they've got a bunch of plants in a bath here interesting display big philodendron brazil in the middle there some nice healthy spider plants here and a whole bunch of peace lilies very common plant you'll find lots of these in every garden center they're all flowering this looks like a very interesting aglianema i do not know what it is aglianema exclusive mix 18 pounds 99 don't know what that is but it's very interesting it's got elongated leaves with some interesting variegation there only seen one of those this looks like a maranta lemon lime 11 pounds 99 for the maranta quite nice we've got some of these anthuriums another interesting aglianema nestled in here let's see 18.99 for this one it doesn't say what type again that's quite interesting it's got like a lemony color quite nice tempting i must say it's pretty let's see what else we can find let's check out this ugly anema this one has kind of pink 
on the margins. £18.99, not labelled. Very nice though, very healthy. Some lovely variegation there. I love the pink. It's quite a gentle pink as well against the green. What's this? This is interesting. Let's have a look. $54.99, Anthurium. Lovely. This is an interesting little fella. This is an agave, $39.99. Kind of like the form of that one. Interesting. Another one of these. These are interesting. They've got such big chunky leaves. A few bonsais back here. If you're into bonsais. Another lovely calathea here. I am attracted to this one. I may have to get one at some point. Is it easy to look after? Let me know. Orbifolia there. And they have the gorgeous pink one. Another trio star there. This one's maybe slightly less pink than the other one I looked at. This one is a really lovely pink. Let's have a look. Does it have a label? Calathea Crimson. That is really nice. I wonder if this is a hard one or an easy one. Let me know if you know. Love to try one though. These ones are nice as well. Pinstripe one there. Calathea Ornata. That one's pretty as well. This looks like an Orbifolia to me, 19.99. Interesting Croton here. This one has sort of wiggly leaves, £14.99 for that one. Interesting. A banana yellow. Okay, so now I'm going to share with you my haul. So as soon as I entered the shop, I noticed this, and this is obviously a Syngonium. And at first I thought this was the Syngonium Batik. You can see it kind of looks similar to the Batik, but it's actually not. And it's not actually labeled as any particular Syngonium, it just says Syngonium Mix. 
but I did a bit of research last night on Google and I think it is a variety called, it's either Glow Go or Go Glow, one or the other. I'll put the name on screen, but I'm pretty sure that's what this is um, because this one is often mistaken for the batik, but this one cost me £8.99, so it's definitely not the batik. The batik is quite expensive, but if you really want a batik and you can't afford one, I'd say this one was a really good choice. It's very, very similar in my eyes and yeah, much cheaper, but really happy to have got this one. And in my research, it seems that this one apparently doesn't vine like other Syngoniums. It's more of a compact form. I don't know whether that's true. I shall see as it grows, I'll let you know. But yeah, this is a really stunning plant. I definitely snapped one of these up as soon as I went in the shop. It was straight in my trolley. The next plant that I got was this Schlefleura. I can't say that very well, so I'm just gonna say umbrella plant. But this one is kind of similar to the one I already have, only it has more variegation. So I think it's a slightly different variety. But I could not resist this one. The variegation on it is absolutely stunning. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. Will I put it in the pot with my other one? I'm not sure, but this only cost me $12.99 and it's a really healthy plant. It's got way more of the light variegation. It's kind of a light green, almost yellow, but yeah, I could not resist this one. I have a huge soft spot for umbrella plants, so really happy to have found this one. And then lastly, the next plant I bought is this huge Marble Queen Pothos. And I know I recently bought one of these on one of my recent trips, but this one was absolutely huge. It was £24.99 and I could not resist because it is just such a huge plant. It has potential for propagating. I'm considering also putting this one on a pole and growing it up a pole. And yeah, I just couldn't resist. I thought this would make a good project. See if I can get it growing up a pole maybe. Take a few propagations, get it growing nice and bushy. But yeah, they had several of these. And as I say, I just couldn't resist because it's such a big plant for the price. And this one has really amazing variegation too. These plants respond really well to being pruned as well. If you take cuttings, they will usually put out more than one vine. So my plan is, as I say, to get this one growing up a pole and to try and get it nice and full and hopefully get some bigger leaves, which will probably take a few years, but it's a long-term project. So those are the plants that I bought today. And I know I said it before, but I've got to say it again, whoever is looking after the plants in this garden center, they are doing an amazing job. They were so healthy and the displays were amazing. They must take the staff ages to do those displays. It was kind of hard for me to kind of get that in. You have to kind of be there to see how magnificent they were, but yeah, the, I'd say the vast majority of plants there were in absolutely amazing condition, so healthy. They obviously take care of their plants there. You do see it sometimes, don't you, where plants are a little bit neglected, they're not being taken care of properly, but this place, absolutely brilliant. And yeah, good prices, healthy plants, great displays, you can't go wrong really, so I would highly recommend visiting this place if you are in the area or you can travel. It's well worth a visit, lots to do and see there. Thanks so much for watching today guys. I do really appreciate you being here watching my video. And if you enjoyed it and you found value in the video, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button as well because there's going to be lots more from me in the future. And yeah, big thanks for being here. I really do appreciate it. And until next time, take care of your plants and take care of yourself.